Another nightly entry. Ooh. This bad boy is off the money. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, today was a good day. Today was a slow day. Um, it is 26th, day after Christmas. And, yeah, we, uh, I don't know. We're looking forward to the new year, and we're working on kind of figuring out, like, what direction we want to go, what our goals are, like, what we're going to be taking from last year into this year. Last year was a crazy fucking year. Like, it was, it was intense. And this year, I want to, I mean, I expect it to be, honestly, the same level of intensity, but in more of a positive way, all things considered. Um, it was a big old mix of good and bad. <laughs> and I want 2024 to be significantly more good. Um, Tage made a vision board. Um, it looks really dope. And I, yeah, I want to make one too. Because um, I like, it's cool looking at it and being like, oh, okay, that's what, that's what you want. That's the direction you want to go. These are your goals. We're like, we're really laying it out here. And uh, I like that. I have very tangible goals. And yeah, I, I really want to hit them this upcoming year. I want to finish my degree. I also want to really change up my content and make it so that it is like me talking. And it's exciting. And it's like a slice of life. And I want to, like, honestly, I want to hit a million followers per platform. Like, that's that's my goal. And it's doable. It's going to be fucking hard, though. But it's doable. Um, yeah, and I, I really want to make it, like, much more of a sustainable lifestyle. Right now, things have been, like, very, like, wishy-washy sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. I want it to really be something where we can plan for the future, we can, you know, like, put money aside, we can invest in things, we can save up for Lily's tuition, like, I really want to be in a good place emotionally with what I'm producing, and I guess spiritually with what I'm producing. And the impact that I'm having, and also financially, and it's very doable. And I'm fully prepared to like for the first, especially for the first six months, but honestly for the first for the whole year, to really nose to the grindstone, grind this bad boy out. The last like seven or so months, pretty much since May of 2023, have been very much that for me. And it's been kind of liberating in the sense of. I think I lost, that That was a large part of my identity for a long time was just like, I know I can work fucking hard and I know I'm smart, but I know that like when it comes down to it, the thing that gets me through is my ability to just grind. Um, and I lost that for a little bit. I was working, but I didn't feel like I was working towards something for a long time. Um, but I really got that back and school was a large part of that. School was a big part of that for me, in um, feeling like I'm working towards something and finishing and re like closing books, not leaving things undone, not quitting early. That's important. And I also feel like I'm doing something meaningful. Like it means a lot to me to finish, even if I don't end up getting an engineering job, which I still may, you know, depends on how, like content is my first goal and priority, but this is a super unpredictable industry, um, and it may not work out, that's fine, got backups, um, but yeah, I really want to carry that intensity forward, I really want to clarify who I am as a person and as a creator, I want to be able to really make impacts and I want to be there a lot more um, like as a parent and as a partner um, 
one of the things Taylor talked about today, and and I I cons- one of her goals is to really be super clear and honest in the new year, and not honest in the sense of like lying, but honest in the sense of being true to whatever you're feeling. Um, and one of the things for her is is like really coming forth and like and being upfront about things. Um, which I respect, and honestly, I want to take that forward into the new year as well. Um, there definitely is an element of kind of emotional passivity where, for me, I feel that I tend to, with with several, multiple exceptions, but I, I tend to not take a stance on things because I always want to hear the other side, which is laudable, I, I guess. Um... But that prevents me from, I'm slow to make a decision on things that I should be much quicker with. Um, and it's a learning curve, you know. Um, but with her, one of the things is, um, I tend to be like a words person. She tends to be much more of an actions person. And I, my ADHD will get me distracted so fast. And I want to be as supportive as possible. And so something will be on her mind. I'll be like, hey, I got it, don't worry about it. And then I'll get distracted and forget and go do something else. Um, and that was a conversation we had to have today. It was like, when I say I'm going to do something, then I need to do it, and I need to do it quickly. That's fair. And that's something I can take forward into 2024 and like really iterate on that as a person. Um, yeah. And... Yeah, no, I, I, that's something I, I definitely, I want to be, in my attempt to be more thoughtful and considerate, I think I've taken a lot of the punch out of my ability to be decisive, and I've noticed it in what I just mentioned, and in content to a degree, and in, honestly, a lot of things, because... I'll have an idea or or want to do something, whatever. Check email, right? Um, and I'll just put it off. Because the thought of it will be, it'll be a lot. And then I'll just let it, like, on, while I'm making, while I'm, like, mustering the courage to, like, do this thing. Um, it'll just sit in the back of my head. And I need, I just need to be a lot more decisive with what I'm doing. Um, and there's a time and place for thought and consideration, 100%. There's also a time and place for action. And I really want 2024 to be a year of action. I wanna, I wanna do a lot. Um, and honestly, I tend to be most happy when I am doing a lot. And being okay with that. Yeah. 2024 is going to be a good year. Um, it's going to be a difficult year, for sure. I think I need to... I know I need to journal tomorrow. And really start to clarify some of the ideas that are kind of floating around nebulously in my head right now. Um, because... There's a lot that I need to figure out. And there's a lot of potential. And I'm excited for that. There are a lot of things that need to be done. And there's a lot of opportunity to do them. And that's cool. At the end of the year, I'll be either an engineer or a content creator. Or maybe both. But right now I feel like I'm stuck in this weird in-between phase where I'm neither entirely. So, yeah.
Um, I just gotta work out in, which is nice. It's late. Um, it's close to midnight, but I got my workout in, which is super important to me. Um, for the last like month, while I was at the uh, at the show on the show, rather filming, which is in like a Best Western for like a month, and uh, they had a gym. It existed. Um, the weights went up to twenty five pounds, which you know you can you can do a lot with that. But for a month, eventually you run out of things to do. And that's kind of where I was at. So I was excited to actually move some weight today. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get back in my routine. I'm excited to be really clear on my goals. And I'm excited to start to nose to the grindstone, chase a bunch of them. Peace.